guys, what we were saying, and welcome back to another flipping simple jet flipping video. It seems weird holding like this, not gonna lie. It seems weird. I'm always used to stationary setup, you know what I mean? But it makes a change, you know. The last time I think I did one of Lee's videos was like when I did the university light three point item thing. But we're here, guys, we're here, and we're doing flipping good, guys. But yes, big news, guys. Today I'm going to be going to BBC Radio Derby, guys. And the time is now currently, if you can see that, 6.56. And I go on at about 20 to 8, guys. It's a Tuesday, 15th of Tuesday. I know we'll come out a bit later, but yes, guys, I'm going to be going and going on. That doesn't even make sense. I will be going on BBC Radio Derby, guys, at 7.40 p.m. I'm literally going on to talk about my YouTube channel and, you know, talk about how I started out, stuff like that. About 10, 15 minute little interview section. And it's on the top floor of BBC Radio Derby, guys. So let's give them a follow on Instagram as well guys, they do amazing stuff, I listen to a few other stuff for there, they do also get musicians in, the lot, it's a big thing for me guys as well, so I'm buzzing and I'm going to take you along the journey with me guys, so you're going to see me in the studios and everything guys, I'm going to set up and I'm going to record me having an interview as well, because I know some of you guys might have missed it, if you didn't tune in, um, obviously at 7.40 as is today, when, when I'm going live guys, so some of you might have missed it, so I wanted to record this as well, that's why I'm doing this for you guys as well, so you can see it and you can catch up and see what it was all about guys, but I'm excited, it's pretty cool, my room is of a tip though my room not gonna lie is a little bit of a tip at the minute not gonna lie i've got lights everywhere for tiktok you know feel free to follow me on tiktok guys we're doing brilliant on that we've smashed past 17k on that which is insane you know we're almost an 18k actually you know the time this is out as well you know obviously i'm packing my bag don't know why i've got coat hangers there that's because i was wearing something else but literally packing my bag i've got the tripod obviously i need the tripod got the cameras got the pen knife to obviously put that on because obviously i won't be able to use that otherwise so I've got all that good stuff there. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm getting a lift there, so it's going to be cool going there. Then obviously I film a little bit outside showing you BBC Radio Derby. And then obviously I'll show you when I actually do the interview. So I'm looking forward to it, guys. It's going to be sick, guys. But yes, obviously if you follow my social media, you'll know I'll be going live right now as we're speaking. I know the time this hour is not. But it's going to be cool. So let's flip and roll and let's get on with the show. Let's go. Five minutes later. Yes, guys, here we are on the way to uh, BBC Radio Derby. I'm looking forward to it. A little bit anxious, but I always get a bit anxious. But once I start doing it, I get, I, I, I'm, I'm not fine. There's no nerves there when I start doing it. So I'm looking forward to it. Got my taxi driver, my mum here, you yeah, know, okay. taking me. You know, without that, I would have been late, but I got the bus to be fair. Um, but yeah, you're looking forward to it? Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, she's really looking forward to it. But yeah, looking forward to you guys. And um, I'm going to film just a little bit outside but before I go in as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I'll set it up and you'll see us start talking. And then I'll have a little talk on the way back. And then when I get home, I'll talk a bit more about it. So I'm looking forward to it, guys. So stay tuned. It's going to be good. <music> Yes, guys, literally just waiting BBC Radio Derby now. I'm looking forward to it. Just before we go in live, I'm buzzing for it. I'm going to be setting up, so it's cool. And I'm buzzing. It's about YouTube. It's me, innit? Do you know what I mean? I'm loving it. For those who are tuning in as well, legends, guys, safe for the lens. And if you're new channel, press the button. I'm becoming Simpleton, and I can't wait to go live. Pop a buzzing for it. Let's buzz in. DNC and Cake by the Ocean on the top floor on BBC Radio Derby. I'm Jen Thomas. Now, being a YouTuber is a desirable career for many people now, but it can be hard to know where to begin, what subjects to talk about. So, is it as easy as it looks? I'm joined now by Joe Hawksworth. He's a media student at Derby University and he creates content for YouTube. Twitch and TikTok under the name of Simple Joe. So thank you very much for joining me this evening. So you started on YouTube as a drummer, didn't you? So you were uploading videos with your brother, uploading music covers. So what made you move away from that? Because now you do all sorts, don't you? You have like football, you have reaction videos. What? How did you get started and what made you want to change? Well, it was just one of them things, you know. Obviously, growing up doing music, I really enjoy that. And I really enjoy that a lot. But then it kind of just... I just change. I watch a lot of YouTubers. So, for example, Joe Snog, KSI. You know, I watched them and I was like, "Whoa! I love what they're doing. They're just being themselves, talking about something." I was like, "You know what? That's what I want to go into." I was like, "You know what? Let's go for that." So I did. I was literally within about 17 years old. I did NCS, and then after that, it was literally completely changed. I was like, "You know what? Let's try this. Be myself on YouTube," and it just took off from there. I was just like. I love doing this. Did you ever have that moment where you think, is anybody going to watch? Just when you first upload it, you then sat there waiting, thinking, please watch it. Don't just be my relatives watching. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's one of the that's one of the worst things when you do begin. You're unsure if 
you know, it's going to work out or not because a lot of YouTubers die and they're like, you know what, it's not for me, I'm not getting any views, I'm not doing it. But for me, it's kind of just been like, I find it fun. I didn't look really at the views when I started, I just kind of did it because I enjoyed it. And I, obviously now a little bit you do look at the views, you, you kind of have to, you know, because you just see what people prefer than not. You know, for example, football videos might be better than re reaction videos and stuff like that. So for me, it's just, you know, trial and error with a lot of it. So you started off doing those music covers and, and now when you have a look there is a lot of the football coverage, so is it trial and error or is it you just wanting to do what you want? Yeah, it's a lot of it. A lot of people have said to me, oh why do you just focus down one path? But for me, I want to do what I want to do rather than being forced into one direction because I feel like if you do, then it comes to the point where you feel like you have to upload and you're getting forced. And I just don't really want that, I want to be free when I'm on YouTube, that's the platform. I want to be doing what I want to do when I want type of thing. And what is TikTok? So if anybody's listening and they have no idea what TikTok is, I know I've got young nephews and I think I've, I've seen them using it. I have to admit, I've never used it, so <laughs> I feel like a grandma right now. I remember Vine. Is it similar to Vine? Yes, that, it is. And Vine was six seconds, wasn't it? So basically, if you've never heard of Vine, uh, users would try and upload these little videos, only six seconds long, usually comedy based. Um, but I think that went under, didn't it? It folded. Yeah, it so is it similar to that? Very similar, but in more on the 15 seconds now. So they've kind of made it a bit longer, and it's a variety of comedy to lip syncing songs to re reacting memes. So yeah, it's very similar to Vine, but it's just a little bit more, you know, it's kind of rebranded basically. And I really love it. So I suppose, in a way, it's a lot more direct than YouTube. YouTube you can talk for as long as you want yeah. about whatever you want whereas when you're doing these TikTok videos it kind of has to be one hit, do it in one go, get to the point quickly yeah. sort of thing. Do you think that Instagram stories and things like that have made that more popular because I know people were starting to do the shorter messages on there as well weren't they? I think so, I think Nowadays, people just want it in an instant, you know. Well, don't get me wrong, YouTube is still doing amazing, but I feel like these other apps are slowly competing with them because, for example, TikTok, Snapchat, you know, people can upload for literally 10 seconds and people know what they're on about straight away. So I think people prefer that, you know, you can open your phone, open it up, and it's there straight away. And that will engage with people straight away. And I think that's why, personally, I think TikTok is growing so much at the minute. Oh, I have to download it. We're going to be hearing more from Joe after this from Blossoms. <laughs> Blossoms with how long will this last? We've been talking about YouTube and Blossoms have actually started up their own pub cast. So it's like a podcast except they record it in the pub every week with uh, varying results depending on how many drinks they have when they do it. So I'm Jen Thomas on the top floor on BBC Radio Derby and joining me still is Joe Hawksworth who is a YouTuber under the name of Simple Joe. So with some of the, the videos that you do, they're what are called reaction videos, so that can be for goals, to football and things like that. Why do you think people want to watch someone else reacting to something? What do you think the appeal is behind them? I think it's more because you're getting a different I think you're getting a different type of like, you know, point of view from it, you know. For some reason, you know, people can watch the same clip over and over again, but because there's someone else giving a different type of view on it, a different type of reaction, I think that's why people prefer it. To me, I kind of understand why people would like it and not, but I think it's just because you get that different reaction from people. It's, it's just something that people take on to, I suppose. When you think about it, we all watch Gogglebox, and that's watching other people watching TV, so exactly. it's watching the reactions. I guess there is that curiosity and, and human nature and things like that. So, I mean, do you feel pressure to upload? I know you say that you're at uni and obviously that takes up a lot of time. Do you ever feel like you have to do it or you feel guilty if you haven't uploaded or you feel bad if it doesn't get the views you expected? Not, I think not so much the views, but I, I've got to be honest, I think when it comes to guilty, I do feel guilty, but that's more myself, not the viewers. Because as a creator, I want to upload for my viewers. I feel like it's fair, you know, they're coming to support me, they're watching my videos all the time. So for me personally, I get annoyed at myself. For example, if it's been a week and I've uploaded maybe one or none, I'm a little bit like, oh, I'm not uploaded, it's a bit annoying. And I, I beat myself up a little bit about it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like your viewers, if they're loyal, they're still going to be there. So it shouldn't really matter. But yeah, personally for me, when it comes to uploading, I do feel a little bit of pressure sometimes. But I suppose I work around it. And do you know what your most popular video has been? Is there any one that stands out for you? 
popular video. So if I've got a couple, um, I would probably say for me, Eurovision 2018, um, that one for me just took off. Maybe because not many people did a reaction on that, maybe some people did, but personally for me, yeah, because I called it and I was in love with Netta, so I called <laughs> it that. For some reason, it absolutely took off. I did not, I was not expecting that. I was maybe 100 views, 200, and without I know it, 20,000 views. I'm oh, like, wow. Because wow. people really love Eurovision, yeah. don't they? It's either a love hate thing. Will you be doing it again this year, yeah. this week, isn't it? Yeah, at least that day, so definitely. I may be making a video before and then doing one after it's done as well, yeah, for the winner. So, yeah. And obviously tomorrow is a very big day for Derby with the football. Have you got any, any thoughts on that? I know you're technically a Liverpool fan, yeah, yeah. but any <laughs> thoughts about tomorrow? Um, right, I'm being honest, I generally think Derby are going to win 2-1, but it means it will go to extra time. So, I'm unsure, I can't predict it after that, but I think it will be 2-1 with Wilson and Mario scoring. That's, that's all I think, but I don't know the end result. You so. heard it here, that is Joe's predictions for tomorrow. I know we, I was embarrassed at the start of the show uh, by Chris, who does the sports show before this, by revealing to everybody that my first love was Gary Neville uh, from Man U. I used to love football when I was a kid, but that's about as far as my knowledge goes. So I'm going to trust you on your opinion there. Thank you so much for coming in today, Joe. It's been Welcome. brilliant to have you. I'm going to go and download TikTok. Uh, you've converted me to that. This is Neo with Closer. Yeah, that was great, thank you. Cheers, you're welcome. Well, that was BBC Video Derby. That was absolutely awesome, guys. Literally, just finishing there. What an amazing show. You probably saw it, guys. You probably listened live, which was amazing. Me talking about my YouTube channel, absolutely amazing, guys. I'm going to talk about it more when I get home, guys. But thanks for everyone who's listening as well. It'll be on here, as you know, as well. But you guys are the best, and I will see you very soon, guys, in a bit. In a bit. Eventually. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. What? A flipping day has been. Let me just get to you. Let me take a seat. My room is still an absolute tip. Look at all it. Look at that. I've got pajamas just everywhere. It's pretty mental, guys. Pretty mental. But let me take a seat. Oh my god, guys. What a day it has been. Like, it's absolutely phenomenal, guys. I've just currently been on BBC Radio Derby, guys. And I can't thank you enough, guys. Like, for real. This is all because of you guys, literally guys, this is, yes I create content and I post it, but it's all because of you guys, like literally you guys, you, you follow me, you subscribe to my channel, you watch my videos, you share my videos, you comment on my videos, if it weren't for you guys, guys, that, that's guys, surprise, if it weren't for you guys, literally, I would not be able to do any of this, like this is just a dream come true guys, like, to be on a radio station that is popular as well, you know, BBC Radio Dobby, it's, 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 it's a big station, it's a flipping massive station, me talking about my YouTube channel, talking about what I love to do and create content, and you know, it's all because of you guys, like literally, I can go over and over again, but thank you so much guys, like it literally means the world, I mean that from the bottom of my heart guys, like literally, I cannot mean just everything from every single platform, from, from TikTok to YouTube to Twitch, you guys are supporting me, just doing what I love to do, so thank you guys so much, like, and honestly, on the show, it was absolutely amazing, you know. She was an awesome presenter to Jen Thompson as well. Absolutely amazing, you know. She does um, she on Virgin Radio as well in the morning as well. It was awesome, you know. It was awesome. The questions she asked as well, absolutely phenomenal. Like, I enjoyed it. I loved it, you know. Um, it was annoying. Right at the end, though, I, my lips went a little bit dry. I was like, no, my lips are going to be dry. I should have had a drink. But I think, yeah, I think you can really tell, to be honest, you know. Unless you, like, people fully knew, and then they might be like, okay, your lips were a little bit dry. But apart from that, it absolutely went amazing. Like, obviously, it was like, oh, a bit dry. My lips a bit annoyed. But apart from that, I absolutely love this show. Like, every single bit of it. You know, she's awesome the way she does it as well. Like, literally. And especially looking, like, watching someone do what you would love to do. Do you know what I mean? Like I said, guys, I would love to be a presenter. You know, I'm still always going to be carrying on with my content creator. I want to be a creator for the rest of my life. But especially radio will present it. And it would be awesome to get into that field as well. You know I mean? I'm watching someone do that. Learning from someone's, like, experience. You know, they're a professional in the industry. Watching someone do that is amazing as well, guys. And literally, like I said, if it weren't for you guys, this would never happen, guys. So thank you so, so much, honestly. You guys literally mean the world to me and literally i'm gonna keep going on as i always do guys we've got a busy week we've got so many videos coming out guys i've pretty much almost finished uni as well guys so that's mental i've got one more time in the left one more i mean the time list is up i mean i probably already finished that. i don't know the time list is out but it's pretty mental guys i've got so much coming this summer like literally we are taking things to the next level you know let me know if you like these vlogs as well guys because i'm going to be bringing a lot more vlogs in as well still have a sit down video you know with reaction reviews but vlogs as well will be happening guys as well just has a little bit more personal touch in a way do you know what i mean carrying on what i'm doing so i do appreciate all the support guys and if you're new to your channel press the red button and become a simpleton guys and i will see you in a flipping of a video in a bit guys you guys are the best peace flipping out